Standing before a judge, Marcus Fisher had nothing to say. No, I do not. Before, he received his sentence of more than six years in prison. But first, Judge Gina Brandt had a message for the 19-year-old. Those horrible choices that you made, you can choose those to be the rock bottom of your life. Now you can choose to live a whole new life. Fisher admitted to shooting a man who was selling him a gun. Then, while Minneapolis police questioned him downtown for that case, Fisher pulled out a knife he smuggled into the interrogation room and slit his own throat. Officers shot him after they say Fisher raised the knife and made a move toward them. Fisher pleaded guilty to assault in both cases. Judge Brandt pointed out how Fisher's family has supported him throughout. You have support and they're going to continue to be there for you. He just said he's ready to face up to what he did and he was just ready to move on to the next chapter of his life. But Fisher's father, Eric, is still angry about the police shooting. Well, I guess if that's what they want to say, the cops saved his life, whatever, man. They can say whatever they want. I watched the tape. They were in no danger whatsoever when they opened fire on my son. Eric wishes his son would have fought that charge, but says he'll still be here for his son when he's released from prison. What happened in that courtroom ain't what I wanted to happen, but it was his wishes. He's a grown man now. He's capable of making his own decisions. And the officers involved in the interrogation room shooting are back at work. According to MPD, the Washington County Attorney's Office investigated and found nothing criminal about the shooting. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Lou.